Last time, on Metroid Prime, we got Double Jump and Boost Ball. So we need to go back and figure out where to use those to get items that I missed. We opened up Magmore and Fendrana Drifts for the first time. And we're, I think our next boss is going to be in Fendrana Drifts, if I remember correctly. It's also fun. I put the second episode on YouTube, and comparing the old thumbnail to the new thumbnail is, is fun. They're just two different shots of Flagra. Um, figuring out like what I do on the first versus the second days of the playthrough and stuff like that. Or like... Yeah, it'll just be interesting to compare the pacing. No, nope, this goes out to that place. I don't need to go there. Goodbye. I don't hear much from the game right now. It sounds normal to you? Oh, I don't know. I think the tough thing with this game as well as some other, like... It looks... here, okay, hang on. I'm sorry. It looks louder than it is because of, like, the waterfall noise. Because of the filler noises, the ambient noises. Is there anything up here? No? I'm waiting for the hint system to tell me what to do. We went in there and got that item. And let me take a quick look at the map. So if I want to go to Chozo Ruins West, I can, and try to use Boost Ball. If I want to go back to Magmore, I can. I think I want to go back to Chozo Ruins West. So let's do that. I can go in from here. No idea why Flagra's name strikes me, but I love and hate it. Fla a a a agra <laughs> Probably my fault. Hint system remembers what I did to it in 1.0. Even the waterfall is relatively quiet. I feel like it could go up to 25%. Really? I don't feel like it's that quiet. But I can mess with it some more. Okay, and I did this little boost ball shenanigans last time. In order to get double jump. But we're gonna go back this way. To... Yeah, Chozo Ruins. And I have some ideas. <laughs> Nothing in here. And I'm still missing a Chozo Lore tablet. So we want to try to find that. It's not like in this first main room, is it? Uh... Pillars has collapsed from erosion. Carbon dating cannot determine the age of the structure. I might have been missing that scan. Okay, there's definitely something in here I can get now. Oh, you're new.
This is who I fought to get Boost Ball, isn't it? Wow. I just don't want you to attack me while I'm trying to do the half pipe. I feel like the charge shot is so long to to build up and then I miss every time. Oh my god. Please die. Oh, no, go this way. You gotta get that missile pack. I keep boosting too high on the side that I don't need. Charge in this game felt more like a utility feature than a weapon. I think it comes in handy for certain bosses. Maybe? I don't remember. I'm excited to get all the different types of beams though. Oh my god, please stop. The fact that I keep going this high on this side keeps messing me up. There we go. Was it worth it? I don't need to bomb that little alcove, do I? No. I think there's a lot of backtracking I haven't done yet either with, um, even with bombs. Because I remember there's parts of the wall where you can go through and morph and then like bomb little sections of it to get through. You know what I mean? And then over there, there's an item I think I have to get with grapple. Hmm. So where to now? all the way up here, but I don't think there's anything to do up here. Let's look at the map. Let's go across to this door. Devil Summoner, welcome in. Thanks for the hydrate. Appreciate it. I think I can do more in this room now that the water is purified, maybe. I'm not sure yet. I love how much work they put into this remaster. Same. It's so good. Um, I can't see anything. Oh, I think you have to ride that to the ceiling. Yeah. 
Okay, I don't have magnet ball yet. Spider ball, magnet ball. So then I want to go over here. Oh, and I couldn't do this room before because I didn't have barrier suit, but this is a grapple room. Okay, good to know. No grapple yet. Any Chozo lore in here that I missed? Give me the lore! Oh, what's this say? That the water's pure now? Water toxicity levels returning to safe levels. The levels are returning to safe levels. What was that noise? Duncan is probably sleeping somewhere. I guess we're going the long way to the watery hall. Uh, I probably don't need to be here at all then. What about this room? Hmm. But I didn't know how to get to that alcove before. Remorph, oh god. Stay morphed. It's to my right and then behind me. Ugh. Oh, that. I didn't realize that was a door. Cannot be reached. Door can only be opened from the other side. Okay, gotta go around the long way then. Fallen from the walkway above. Hmm. Any sandstone down here? No, leave me alone. I don't want to fight you again. Actually, is there a save off of this room? No, but we're headed in that direction. I'm going to take a quick break, and then we'll continue. It sounds pretty good now. I don't want this bug to bother me. Oh, but I got turned around. Uh, to my right, there should be a door. Right there. The one we were looking at earlier. Oh, I had to jump over that before. I wonder if I can just kind of sneak through here. 
Now, hint system wants to help me. Predator activity analyze. Predator increase in Fendrana region. Oh. Rising predator activity. I don't know how to get there yet. But we gotta go back. Once I finish this side quest. Oh, this is something I can do now. Oh, maybe not. The me alone, bees. Thanks for the lurk, soul. Appreciate it. Thanks for the yoo-hoo! Hi Torwolf, how's it going? Welcome in. Were you able to hear the yoo-hoo? Because if not, I can fix it. Hi Shaggy, welcome in. How's it going? Why do I keep thinking there's something down here? I thought I did it wrong. You couldn't hear it? Oh, it did work though. Well, I mean, I heard it, but I need to change where the audio is coming from. It keeps- I just changed Mix It Up to version 1.0.0.36. Why does it keep going back to the previous version? That's weird. I think keep thinking it's Friday today. I'm off all next week and I'm in vacation mode. Nice. Now it should work. Um. Macchiato, welcome in. How's it going? Hello. It's not Friday. I wish it was Friday. I can never remember if it's Yoho or Yahoo, and I doubt myself every time. I think it's actually Yoohoo. Y O O H O O. <laughs> uh. But I have a couple, like, aliases baked in so that if you type the wrong one, it'll still work. I don't know if Yahoo works. Anyway, we're gonna save. And then I can either continue on this path or we can try to go to Fendrana. But doesn't this take me to the Fendrana elevator? No, it takes me to the Magmore elevator. <laughs> Well, this is the way we're going. Right? Yeah? Who was talking about the map and making it a little easier to read? Hi, Intelligame! Metroidvania puzzles and indies looks like I'm here to stay for a bit. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. We're a little bit all over the place. I try to tie my game selections in together and be cohesive. And it just, it just, we jump around, you know. Such is the life of variety streaming, but I recently played um, La Mulana, which was a huge long playthrough. We were on that for a while. We played Haiku the Robot, which is a lovely Metroidvania. Oops, shriek bats. And I played uh, Golden Idol, Case of the Golden Idol, which is a really fun puzzle game. You love Haiku? Nice. Oh yeah, that one was so good. It deserves more love.
lots of similarities with that one to 2D Metroids and Hollow Knight, so. I'm glad we took the long way back to uh, Fendrana because we are getting some items along the way. And this we went in earlier. Anything else here that we can scan? That looks like a sprinkler system? Fascinating. Wasn't this the first Metroid where people realized Samus is female? Is it? I don't know. Well, no, because Super, when you die, you see her without her suit. You see her, like, long hair and her body. Was revealed to be a lady in Metroid 1 for NES. Yeah, we've got Justin Bailey uh, Samus in NES, so. I think before it came out on NES, there was, like, confusion, like, in the promos and stuff. Is this Chozo lore? No. Have you heard of the game Forgotten City? No, I haven't heard of that one. If you beat the game fast enough, she'd appear in two piece in the end credits. Nice. I'm playing Case of the Golden Idol these days too. Needs uh, seems to be a great choice. Thank you so much, and thank you, uh, Josh, for bringing your people over. We will, we will see you around. I don't know if you're doing post stream stuff. Haven't played Prime in so long. I'm super stoked to try Remastered. It's really good. It's really well done. I always, I always try to remember to tell Raiders if you need to decompress and de-stress and get out of here. Feel free. If you beat the game fast enough, all the promo stuff use he, him for Samus in the US. And then we found out Samus is a lady Samus. And she is pretty darn cool. Drainage possesses traces of high-level toxins. Mechanical device is inactive. Did I scan this? Yep. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thanks, Izrak. Her sex was never hidden in the FDS release. It was the American NES booklet that raised the confusion using masculine pronouns. Oh, this is something I didn't have more for yet, so we can do that. Oh. Um, I just hadn't scanned it yet, but we have been through here. Go, go, go. Oh, fun. Can I fall out? No. <laughs> Oops. Does this one break? I feel like that one can break. Samus Ball, wee! I love the warmth and little flowers of your channel art. Thank you, I appreciate it. The panels are all by Doodle Sprout, and I've been using that green and yellow flower background for everything for such a long time. It's just my personal favorite color scheme. Someday, I'm kind of working on doing some new channel art just because we've had it for so long, but uh, I do like it. Am I continuing on past this room? Can I continue on past this room? It would seem so. Do I want to? Isn't that like a fast track just to get back here? Oh, but I've never been in this room before. 
Do we want to do a quick little loop? Yeah, doodle. They're so good. Um, I love our panels, and they're an incredibly talented artist, and they have a lot of emotes for and assets for people around Twitch. You'll see them pop up. Nintendo Power had a little Metroid comic back in the day where Samus was shown surrounded by hot babes, but I chose to believe this means Samus is sapphic. I still say she's some flavor of Ace due to how she's shown in Metroid Prime 3, going to suspended animation between jobs. Huh. I don't know all the Prime lore. I've only ever played the first one. We want to play the second the second and third someday. It feels comfy, thanks. I saw a drawing a while back of Protag from Katamari rolling Sam around. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> I love that imagery. Nothing to scan. We're doing a little side quest. We're going in a little loop. Oh, I'm too slow. Can I open this from the other side and then maybe it becomes a shortcut? Or do we like fall out somewhere? I feel like we fall out somewhere. Hmm. Color me curious, how do you get Ace from suspended animation? I know nothing about Metroid 3, but I'm curious to hear your theories. Read your theories. These metal gates block every block entry to the center of the room. <gasps> Lore. Is this entrusted one? So many creatures suffer beneath the blight upon the land and we Chozo are no exception. But for all of our pain, we can at least believe in the promise of the future. We have come to believe that a time may never come when we can once again open the door and banish darkness. I think I've read this one. Even so, our vigilance will remain. We believe that on some far off day a savior will come and continue what we have begun. I've read this one already. I don't know which one this was. We're missing this one. Maybe this was spreading evil. The cries of this dying land echo in our ears as we Chozo watch the great poison seep ever further into the living pulse of the planet. The dark energy sinks into the trees and waters, devouring all life. Peaceful beasts die by the thousands. Some creatures survive, but their forms grow as twisted and evil as the force that fell from the sky. Many of these mutated monstrosities remain small enough to do little harm, but others grow enormous and threaten our very existence. One such beast defiles our sacred fountain, disgorging poison from its foul form, replacing pure flowing water with cascades of creeping death. I've read this one too. Even in the face of such horror, we Chozo do not turn in fear. We are all that stands in the way of the great poison. It is our duty to contain it. I don't know then. Second of three locking mechanisms that seal the gate. Third of three. First of three. Whoa. One. Two. <laughs> Come on, Jen.
I've done it before. Okay, this is not going well. Mm, forget it. Spring ball. We need spring ball. It's hard to explain the Forgotten City, but I think you would like it. It's a mystery adventure game where you're investigating an ancient city and its curse of gold. Based off a Skyrim mod and turned into a full game. Cool. Metroidvania is where get lost is a life goal, not a put down. I'm a romantic ace and it might just be projecting, but like if I was gunning for having relationships, I would spend time between bounty hunting missions out in clubs or something and not just hibernating in my gunship. <laughs> yeah, I like the theory. It took me so long as a kid to understand the double mind ball jump. I can do it in some of the 2D ones, but not this one very well. Primary Master gives you the spring ball when you get the bomb? No. We have boost ball. I have spring ball already? Why didn't they tell me that? Oh, but it's still not enough. It's always a separate thing. No, it was probably in the first one too. Well, this is the playthrough now. We got it. All four missiles. <laughs> Worth it. Hi, Gemini Steven. Welcome in. Nothing. No lore. Yay! Worth it for the E-Tank. It's reminding me of the clip of Corgi trying to get over a small ledge or open door frame. <laughs> Corgis are so cute. Okay, now we go back the other way. I don't think there's anything else in here. Whee! And then we have to get to Fendrana from here. And probably save our game again soon since we got some item upgrades. Last time we made it through a decent chunk of Magmore. Yeah. It was alright. I did okay with it. Oh, I forgot about this room. Early E-Tanks are so good. Yeah. First E-Tank you get legit doubles your HP. <laughs> it feels so much safer. Oh yeah, there's a save right here. Corgis are from Wales. That's almost Ireland. Geographically, anyway. Imagery almost fits. Cool. 
I feel like, um... Fendrana isn't too hard to get to from here. We have to fight some Magmores. Nope, not you. And these puffball things. And some of these platformy rooms are really confusing to me, so I'll try not to get lost again. Charge beam worked really well in that case. Where am I hearing that item? Is it underneath? Probably. Oops. I'm not gonna go digging around in the lava for it just yet. Or maybe I need- oh, I need, um, grapple probably. tell you but only if you want me to not yet thanks <laughs> it's not critical to our mission at the moment i know several welsh and irish people who would have got very upset without the geog geographically clarification i believe you So close. Oh, I hate this room though. And there was definitely a faster way to get to Fendrana, but we went the long way to get items. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna get lost. Maybe. Can I like jump the fence now? Heck yeah. Puffers to destroy me. Saw the pronouns on chat overlay. How did you do that? This is with a, um, well, if you do exclamation point pronouns in chat, that's how you get it in your Twitch chat. Username overlay, however to call it. And then these are chat bubbles by Zaytree and they have integrated the, the Chrome extension into the overlay, which is really, really cool. Oops, I need that map still. Yeah, we're going this way. There's an item down there, too, that I tried to, got, to get last time, and then I got too scared because I was losing health. I'm gonna leave it behind, too. What kind of a Metroid player am I if I'm not 100%ing immediately from the start? How did I... Hello? What? Need to introduce this to Josh? Yeah, happy to share. Um... They give some other options for like chat bubble styles. Thanks for using the command. Yeah, that's how to do the, the Chrome extension and then the 
overlay is like a separate setup. Cool. Oh, oh god. I thought that that was gonna go all the way into the lava. This room. Has the nasty security cameras. But coming in from this side, I can take out three right away, which is really good. I have 60 missiles already? Seems excessive. <laughs> There's a fourth camera somewhere, I think. Used to speedrun the 12% run in zero mission. Oh, cool. Sometimes it's fun to actively uh, avoid upgrades. Sometimes, yeah. See the bare minimum you can get through with, like low percent runs. If anyone's curious about the Irish thing, there's a reason to believe Samus is Irish. Oh, like Seamus. And Aran Islands are off the coast of Ireland. Okay, cool. I was wondering if it had to do with the name. 60 missiles is a lot of garbage puzzles and secrets. I don't think any of the puzzles have been garbage yet. I'm happy with where we're at. Gotta get up there, though. I know there's got to be some puzzles that I really don't like in this one, but I can't remember off the top of my head. There's always that one puzzle you never forget. Oop. I hear the turret. I hear another one. Maybe? And now I see everyone's pronouns amazing. How did I not stumble upon this earlier? I don't know. There was a period like a year ago maybe where it was really circulating on Twitter and people were trying to get the word out and share it. There were some tutorial videos out there. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of buzz about it lately. I just kind of take it for granted in um, the Twitch chats that I know. Like, Or I since I have mine set up, I always see it. And then forget to tell people, hey, <laughs> spread the word. Hi, Pizzicato. Welcome in. How are you? Samus is the daughter of a mining family from Earth Colony K2L. So sure, probs from Ireland to some degree. <laughs> and this is the door I want, so let's go. Can I do this door now? Mmm. Tempting. Dealing with a very sassy cat? Aww. Duncan was being extra sassy today, too. What is it about today? I just want to go get the scan stuff from up here. Collapsible suspension bridge is functional but lacks power. I think we're gonna turn it on. Doesn't that look like I can fit in there? Boop. <laughs> oh, that's not how you do it. Oh, oh god. Can I make that? Scary! Hmm. 
We're changing course already. I want to see where this goes. Oh. Oh. Oh my. I remembered to scan something! Bendesium portion of area is unstable. I'd like to do a heads up. I'm not a native English speaker, so if I don't make sense at times or do obvious mistake, feel free to correct me. I could not tell. You are totally fine. No worries. Fenris wants more attention than I have given his meow justy. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure this will probably be fine and not break under my toes. Also, I don't think I can break Bendesium yet. We got something from research a second ago. Was it this? No? Was it the thing? Was it this? No? Oh, spinner. The generator belts of the spinner can be activated by rapid rotational force. Use the boost ability of the morph ball when inside a spinner to activate the device. And then we just got... One of these. Truth and strength. Cool. Can I briefly mention the contents of a scan log from Prime 2? It's not spoiler something I find funny. Sure. Thanks for asking first. Um, this is so cool looking. I feel like this game, like normally I'm a huge stickler about spoilers and info, but since we've already played this game technically, you know, I'm not gonna be as quite as worried. I'm down for more fun facts than I normally am. Tell me it's the science team one? I don't know. Is this a well-known one? Oh, so this opens a shortcut here and then goes back to the other elevator it looks like. Okay. That was worth it. I don't remember getting artifacts this early on, but maybe I just kind of forgot what order stuff happens. Very possible. Go. Phew. Okay, the cameras aren't back. Is there something in here? Just broken mesh. Oh, this one. This is where I died a most horrible death. I'm not dealing with this. There's a scan in Prime 2 from Galactic Federation Trooper where the trooper is like, this other trooper told me about this hunter named Samus and how she took out an entire planet of pirates on her own. As if. That's like asking me to believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, I, we don't get very much perspective from the space pirates of how they feel about her, so that's pretty funny. My favorite was the there are two of them now one, and no, I am not clarifying for anyone that doesn't know. I don't know yet. I only know Sam is in SAX. 
and I don't think it was infusion. Back to Fendrana. We're gonna get heat beam soon, I hope. I love the heat beam. No, I think it's way late. Is the heat beam just plasma beam? There's like an electricity one. A heat one. I don't remember. <laughs> It hasn't even been that long. It's been- it's been two years. Okay, so now I can jump on these. Wow! Now what? <laughs> I don't think I can make it! Oh, I made it. I found you through the Prime Vlogs on YouTube? Nice! Thanks for coming in. Yeah, the, that was um one of my first- my, it was only my second ever Metroid playthrough. And we've just- we like binged Metroid for that rest of that year. Cordite, I don't think I can do anything with yet. To the degree that it's like, oh yeah, you found us through Metroid. Like, <laughs> I forgot. That's how we met a bunch of you. Ooh, I almost fell. Nope, it would have been fine. I just don't think I want to mess with you. Oh, but I have to. Those are just bouncing off of you. Predator increase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, I'm busy. Oh, now it's not gonna tell me because I ignored it? Fine. I was busy! Talon 4 is still not OSHA compliant. I don't pop in for streams super often, but it's always a blast when I do. Thank you so much. I'm definitely putting this one on YouTube as well. Um, but like I was saying earlier, we're just kind of all over the place with game genres, so I get it. The Metroid, the Metroid, uh, fans were waiting for this one. <laughs> oh god. Oh, it's a Shiga. If I sit up here, you can't... Can you get to me? I cheesed it. Does the is there ice physics? Can I slide across the floor? A statue depicting a chozo balancing the plane of existence on its hands. Who's that? Ice parasite. Okay. No ice physics. That's all right, we've got enough challenges. Can I blow up this wall? No. Hehehe. 
Hello. Sam brought her cleats, yeah. She's well equipped for the ice. Is this also out of skating range? I think all those are. Okay. Um, I'll pick up these goodies. Ice parasites, the bane of my existence, only found in this room. Despawn after story thing happens. Miss the scan, you can no longer 100% the logbook. I've missed so many things already in the logbook. I'm so upset. Statue depicting the bust of a Chozo philosopher. What's that? Up there. Bust of a Chozo Architect. Bust of a Chozo Shaman. Bust of a Chozo Warrior. Hands are frozen in place. Depicting the Bust of a Shaman adorns this door. A shell of ice encasing a water basin. The water originated from the statue's mouth. Okay. Which one was the shaman again? You? <gasps> I smashed it. Cool. Did I scan you? No. Oh yeah, I did. My big thing was remembering there are three species of war wasps in Talon 4. Two of them are only in one boss fight. Oh really? That is a pain. Yeah, because each biome has like different versions of certain enemies sometimes. Oh, come on. Go back. And then we have to do this again. And then we have to do this again. <laughs> Get me out of here! No! It's gonna come back! The armed war wasp, the hive totem, and spitting war wasp from the incinerator. Oh. That's so hard to, um, to remember. The boss fights are my worst for scanning, too. Like, I don't want to deal with anything except for the fight at hand. Oh, it's this room? No, I'm not ready! Object out of scanning range. Okay, here we go. Purple. Wave beam! It'll probably just let me get this, right? <laughs> no! Oh, wait. over here. 
I don't even think this is the room I'm thinking of. I keep getting everything mixed up. Missile packs lying around this room. This is, this is, I don't remember you at all. It's just a giant she goth. An electric she goth? Oh, I gotta scan you. Supreme Predator of Fendrana Drifts. It's still just a she goth. It's the mom. Yeah. Oh, she goth something. Oh god. Get out of there! You're using my own weapon power against me. No. Nope. I want to look at the thing I just scanned. No! I pressed the wrong button! I think I remember this fight. Oh my god. I don't want to redo all the stuff I just did. I'm supposed to boost out of there. But I don't like this camera! gonna die. Oh my god. Are you dead? Oh. Insufferable camera angle. Please heal me somehow, even though you're not a healing item. Stressful. It's your least favorite mini boss. Oh, but now we got wave beam, which is cool. I gotta read about it. Yeah, I'm going for the crates. We need the crates. Missiles! Oh, there we go. There we go, we should be fine. Couple of red energies. 
good deal. I still forgot to scan it though. I remembered to scan it before the fight. I think. Let's read about our new thing. The wave beam fires powerful electric bolts. This weapon has limited homing capability. X and A to select wave beam. Fire wave beam to open wave doors. Oh, I'm practicing switching. I'm trying to mute the critical annoyance beep, have some missiles. Ooh. All I remember is the, um, Wait, can I combine this with missiles yet? I remember the electric beam that, like, is a stream of energy between you and the enemy. That one is so cool. Okay, well, good timing. We're about to get hit with an ad. I just got the item, so let's take another quick break, and then I'll be back to go find a save station. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, we'll see what to do next. I drank a huge cup of water. Nice. I had a chocolate. <laughs> I had a dark chocolate Reese's. And I still have water left. I'll replace it. I'll refill it on the next break. Oh, I'm glad I don't have to do this again. Breaking this was kind of a pain. I wonder if I'll have to come back here, though. What a great treat. They're so good. I only have two left, so I had one now. I'm saving the other one until after stream. Oh, you're in here now? I don't think you were in here before. Oh, but I think I can kill you now with this beam. That's nice. I think it's so cool that they're attracted to the charge beam. I'm making Cajun chicken Alfredo for dinner with mushrooms, yum. That sounds really good. Okay, bye everyone. I'll be back when I have a way to melt the ice. Gotcha. Now where am I gonna go? What has a purple door that we've seen so far? Okay, that did not go well. They kind of implode. Rockets can melt ice? I don't think I have a way to melt the ice yet. I just noticed you see Samus' face in her visor. Isn't that cool? It looks so good. Look how cool the wave beam, like the purple coursing through the barrel of the cannon looks. What is happening with the camera right there? That's kind of weird. Okay, I see a she goth down there. I guess we'll just go save though. Um, bye!
The bad dudes can bend light? Apparently. It looks so weird. I don't know if I've scanned them yet. I need to. Bending light. Super cool power. Oh, hello. Flicker bat. Scavenger with optical camouflaging that renders it invisible to the naked eye. Flicker bats are... Deceptive creatures, the only way to track them reliably is with x-ray imaging. They fly ceaselessly, hunting insects and other small prey that float in the air currents. These are long. Flicker bats tend to fly in cyclical hunting patterns using primitive sonar to navigate. Hmm. What is that? Kept aloft by gas-based propulsion system attached to its underside. Okay. Yes, excuse you. Rude. You could have just asked. Can I help you with something? <laughs> if you're not sure where to go, why not check the map to see if you can find something you want to explore? I will in a second. Oh, it stuns you! Oh yeah, I gotta do some fighting too because I need to figure out if I want to change my button mapping or not. Because when you're mid-fight... Ah, uh, that's a pretty good sp It feels okay for now, we'll see. Person at Retro Studios in 2001 tasked with writing several hundred log entries for fictional animals. Cool job is cool job, yeah. That sounds like a pretty good time. Okay, I'm going up here. Oh yeah, there are purple missiles. Interesting. Um and then I'm looking at the overlook. There's like a little ledge over here. Interesting. Uh There's a purple door right here. So I think there's some other rooms that we can do stuff in. Maybe there's one room that we can do stuff in. Do I wanna check out this first? Or this first? Hi, Spectro. How's it going? Welcome in. It's good to see you. I finally validated my first year of uni almost four years after finishing high school. My education journey was a wild ride, but it seems on the right tracks now. Nice. It is so hard to know. Like, education is... is terribly complicated and you a lot of people go into college at 18 and it's like what do you want to do with the rest of your life I don't know <laughs> I have no idea and even if I do I don't know how my schooling is gonna make that happen all right let's go to the right first and just do a little loop do a little exploring and we'll come back around hi Samus's face Okay, it's up there. Also, I hear an item. And I don't know that I had double jump to come through these rooms before, which I feel like is going to be very handy. Oh, but that ledge, isn't that ledge you need rail 
Spider rail. Spider ball. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I can't do that yet. Oh, whoops. Hmm. Well, that was fun. I hear one in here, too. Oh! They're shooting at me from so far away. I didn't know they could do that. Okay, is it you? I'm good, I suppose. Hope you're doing well, human. I'm doing all right. I remember signing the stupid student loan paper for the ridiculous amount of money. The vibe changed and my mom was like, you sure you want to do this? And I'm like, yep, get a great job right away. Little did we know. How are you supposed to know? supposed to know I'm so baffled by this item noise that I keep hearing am I supposed to do something with these red blobs on the walls oh okay no I still don't know how to use the button to go back and forth give up. It's like up on top of that ledge. No, I don't know. I'll come back later. It's haunting me. I still don't know and I'm back in college doing something I know I'll like in the long run. Heck yes. I'm sad to see all the US folks I know struggling so much with it. It is very expensive here. Does this loop back around? No, this- oh yeah, yeah it does. Okay, we'll go through here. And then we'll loop back. Oh, those squeaky guys. Squeaky spitting guys. Good job, Jen. I hear another one! All the items are taunting me. Okay, but this door... I actually want to go through. Wild. Electromagnetic storm. Imagine that the government actually gives my money to go to uni. Amazing concept. 100% recommend. Imagine. I went to college, got a degree, now in a job that has nothing to do with my major. That's what ended up happening to me. Um, I just ended up not using my major. Well, obviously not for streaming, but it's a long story. <laughs> Not obviously. I could have gone to school for something with video games. I don't know. That would have been awesome. Oh, don't I have to break these? But how? Okay, 
Okay, well, it told me to look at the logbook. Research? Stalactite. Hanging rock structure appears to have a weak spot near its base. Some stalactites can be dislodged from ceilings, allowing them to be used as platforms to cross otherwise unreachable areas. Okay. What weak spot? Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna fight these. No, oh, okay. I might have to remap the button, but I don't know what to remap it to. I keep pressing morph instead of the X button for... Wife has an architecture degree and does project management for energy engineering. I know a dude who got a master's in engineering and now his primary source of income is reading memes on the internet because that pays better. Anything he can find in his field. Wild. Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to get that stalactite. There's secrets to be had. Ugh. Is this just an icy shriek bat? Yeah, exactly. It's just a regular shriek bat. What makes it icy? Also, there's like nothing to stand on. How do I get up there? I remember there being some kind of like a way to jump up and get to the upper level. Was it those boxes that I broke? Maybe. Hi, Bunny Slaughter. Welcome in. Thanks for the lurk. Um, it's not a separate species, scan visor, it's just frostbite, yeah. Oh, here we go. I just couldn't find the stairs. Don't forget to look up. Lore! Oh, we already had this lore. Hi, Samus. Supposed to be like debris that I can take out. No? Oh, what's no, that's the same Chozo script. Just keep jumping up. Keep going upwards. Okay. There's the weak spot. Finally.
there another one or I just gotta jump to that one? Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Wow. So we had to open those things and then do something else and now fill everything with water. Amazing. Wait, what does this say? I can't read it. I should probably focus on the platforms though. Ow. Do I need this one too? I think so. Does this game take place pre or post fusion? I forget, somebody told me once it's like between one and two, I think. But I could have that wrong. Obviously, there's probably some room for interpretation. Oh yeah, between one and two. Okay, there you go. Maybe there isn't room for interpretation. Maybe it's pretty clear in the storytelling. I don't remember. It's like a side quest. It's like a mission that goes off the main timeline. The red skin is while you're skinning this, you waste precious seconds of time. They know me too well. They know me too well. Get it from up here. Spinner device has previously used has shut itself off. Slot has temporarily shut itself off. It's weird that you can even scan switches after you activate them, and it's like, oh, good job, you already used this switch. <laughs> the opening sequence says it takes place three months after the fall of Zeeps. Oh, perfect, there you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like it in here. <gasps> ah! It's a space pirate! I'm not ready for this. I'm leaving. Okay, hang on. We'll go back. I think there's a save nearby. Memo for myself. If I ever make a game that allows scanning, place hidden scan somewhere that says, ooh, shiny for the thorough and enthusiastic explorers. I like it. I like it. Cordite. You can't scan crates, right? No. This is locked. This door has no power. Well, fooey. Yay! Now we can go fight space pirates if we want to. Can I scan the walls in here? One scan way off in a corner that's just a graffiti tag. Schematics for research lab Hydra access. Schematics for glacier one secure zone. Good to know. I'm pretty sure I have to power the door with the switch that's like right below here. Camera, will you please move? Ooh. Ow! I don't think I can do that. Alright, one more time.
Wait, is this open now? No, this is the, this is, I already used this. There was another spot in the wall on the other side, maybe? Thanks for the love. A random terminal hacked by notorious hacker name. <laughs> These are like Talus principle Easter, Easter eggs. Like, oh, we see you came all the way over here. Here's something silly and pointless. But I like them. I love a good Easter egg. That jump always looks way too far. Agreed. I remember these bats pushing me off the ledges constantly. Wait, hang on. Pirate communicate analyzed. We're getting a message from the hint system. Thank you. Oh, <gasps> no! You little... Alright, what's that thing I needed to scan? Where did it go? Why can I only scan it when the water level is up? Thanks for redeeming human kindness, sending human kindness from me to all of you. Thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for being here. You are loved. You are worthy. You are appreciated. Happy Thursday. Appreciate it, Spectro. Okay, well, this is certainly helping me find it. Why is it? <laughs> I'm struggling. I'm not ever gonna be able to scan that thing. Cause I feel like it only shows up, except it was red, wasn't it? Tragic. It probably just says the water level is higher than it was before. There it was. I saw it show up again. I don't have time for this. Oh my god, I did it! Oh, that was worth it. 25% of all items, new extras are unlocked. Yay! First try! Not quite. Wee! But that still didn't power on. Oh! Whatever I was trying to power on. So maybe I have no choice but to go through the space pirates part. Hi Sea Priest, welcome in. I'm doing good, how are you? In order to get all the extras, you gotta beat the game twice, once on normal, once on hard, but you got 100% one logbook once. I, that is fake. Research entry. Lock system engaged. Secure the area to unlock door. So this is like a, um, like an airlock. It won't let you go through the door while the water levels up. Like a, like a lock and dam. Cool. All right, that was worth it. 
just listening to my cat do weird meow thing at birds. Cute. My celebratory burger arrived. Gonna enjoy it watching anime. Bon appetit to anyone eating and have a great rest of stream. Thank you, Israx. Take care. Enjoy your burger. We'll see you around. A uh, burger sounds pretty dang good. Do I have to do that every time I want to go across? Every time I have to raise the water level to get through here? My platforming skills are dwindling. I definitely thought we were gonna fight Thardis today, but now I'm not so sure. Do, 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 do. I remember getting knocked off of these platforms by birds a bunch of times in my first playthrough. Super annoying. Okay, you have the save station. I love the little sound cats make when they think they're protecting something. I love them. Um, I love the chirping. Like when they chirp at birds. Or that noise that they make when they're in the other room. And you come in and you like kind of wake them up and they're like, huh? <laughs> Extremely cute. I still can't get this, right? This cordite stuff? No. The chirping I was trying to describe as best as I could weird meow thing. Yeah, like when they're watching birds. I knew what you meant. Whoever invented cats, 10 out of 10 amazing. Yes. <laughs> Alright, are we ready for space pirates? Ooh. Ooh, scanning. Empty stasis tank used for biological specimens. Circuit breakers for lab sub-processing. This is when they start popping out of the ceiling. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. No! Okay, good. Stunning them is good. My lock-on is not working great. Oh, I remember you have to, like, hit certain pirates of certain colors with specific weapons. It's a whole thing. The doors are unlocked! Yay! That wasn't so bad. Oh, that is a turret.
Force field accessible only through space pirate bioimaging impossible to breach. Same thing. Anything cool up here? Yeah, an exit. And one below us as well. Color coded for your convenience, sometimes inconvenience. I don't know which door I was supposed to do first. I guess this one is gonna be okay. Oh. Access to research lab Hydra granted. Okay, I guess it's just gonna open now. Stasis tank operational but empty. What's that red one? Okay, doesn't matter now. We're your friends. Okay, now we can scan. Just imagine how much damage a clever space pirate could do by painting the doors in beam colors Samus hasn't accepted yet. Ugh, sabotage. Increased volatility, predator awareness indicated in cold stasis. Euthanized after psychotic episode scheduled for removal. Stasis tank operational but empty. Pirate data. Pirate data. Xenome SA is undergoing relocation to Lab Hydra. Phazon infusion with central energy core of Xenome SA is at 70% saturation. Increased dosage appears viable. Pirate data! Decreased vital signs, cold damping appears stable. Phase on fluid bath levels at 70%, checking diagnostics per procedure, blah. We got so much pirate data! Increased acidity levels recorded in phase on amniotic bath. Research lab. Aether limited to Team Sclera. <clears throat> ice beetle infestation in Ice Vault region has been 95% exterminated. Meanwhile, they build their bases with tubes and Samus compatible door locks that are baffled how Samus manages to infiltrate them. It's always so convenient. We fit perfectly into everything. Life signs normal, pulse at 140%, mass increase of 4%. Huh. Okay. Should I read these now? Oop, I heard somebody. Let's read them after the action. This equipment in the way. Oh, aren't there like invisible pirates later that you have to get with your little x ray beam? I remember that being terrible too. Oh, turret.
Still not done yet. Okay, now I think we're done. With lots of reading to do. Apparently, according to some logs, their systems are triple encrypted, and yet Samus hacks them in four seconds. Pretty talented. Tissue samples from stasis tanks must be hand-carried to Lab Hydra for analysis. Notify security of all material moves. Cordite. Optimal absorption mutation has led to unexpected degeneration of internal organs. Same thing. Viral pathogens have been found, have found, and several xenomes have been traced to phazon batch this terminate all subjects. Strain 776V has been successfully replicated. Daily decontamination is now required for all personnel working in lab ether. Ether? I don't know how to say it. Samsu AI just that good or are encryption formats just that old and weak? Good question. Xenome behavioral patterns show decreased reflex activity at temperatures below freezing. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> Mutation strain 776V shows massive absorption capacity influx strain replication is now underway. Phase on batch 1734 shows mandible mutation across all subjects cross infusion with batch 1622 recommended. Why is this fish here? Is this its lunch or something? I have adulting I gotta do but have a fantastic rest of stream. Thank you Maggie. Take care. Good luck with everything. Benrys, thank you for thanking the mods. Uh, prep work on all... Excuse me. Empty stasis tanks must be completed before specimen batch Y arrives on this day. Transfer of specimen 344 to lab Hydra complete. Further infusion suspended pending security, security assessment. I think I got it all. Hi, Llama. Thanks for the hello. Welcome in. Shaking my head at Space Pirate eating fish on the job. Everyone knows the second he goes to heat them up in the break room, the entire office is gonna stink. <laughs> That's funny. I never noticed that before. Fish. I get all soul searchy and weird. Llama, thank you for 33 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badger emotes, your ad free viewing. We're so glad to have you. Happy Thursday. Happy almost so close to Friday, right? For your time zone. I feel like it's always six hours, but then I forget about daylight savings. Anyway, hi. <laughs> Fish probably belong to someone in the science team. Is it a specimen? We'll never know. Do not handle sedated xenomes without proper ice containment equipment. Okay, bye. I want to double check and make sure... I don't have a way to break cordite. Because I feel like I remember being able to break this... before when I first came through but what do I know clear an area 
Wave beam won't home in on targets without a lock on. Charge the wave beam to fire a fierce electric blast. Enemies struck by this blast will be enveloped in electrical energy for a few moments. Oh. Sandstone, telluric alloy. Radeon or brimstone. And then it talks about charge combo enhancements. Missile launcher and charge beam in tandem to fire more effective blasts. Okay. And charge beam just says increases performance. Now I'm hoping that log entries in this game, yeah. Almost Friday. I'm making a late night dinner because I got very caught up in other tasks and forgot time. Relatable. Um, I hope it's a good dinner. There's a log somewhere telling pirates to stop trying to adopt local wildlife as pets. <laughs> Maybe the fish was a pet. I need to read so many pirate data logs. How do I know which ones they were, though? I'm guessing it's these. Our initial tests exposing Talon 4's indigenous parasites to Phazon appear to be successful. Increases in strength, size, and aggressiveness are common in all test subjects, as well as unforeseen evolutions like additional poison sacs within the abdomen and the appearance of a second ring of mandibles in several subjects. These creatures were chosen because of their resilience, and it appears possible that, given enough exposure to Phazon, they may one day be able to survive on any planet we transport them to. Our methods will have to be refined. We currently have a 100% extinction rate after the fourth infusion period, and most survivors of the third infusion stage area stage are so violent and uncontrollable, they have to be euthanized. Even still, we remain hopeful that further experimentation will result in success. Mining operations have begun near the crater where Phazon appears to be most concentrated. Daily Phazon yields have increased 44% and our mining system becomes more streamlined as personnel and equipment flows increase. Several incidents of Phazon-induced madness have been reported, prompting augmented life support regulations in the deeper chambers. Symptoms include loss of equilibrium, erratic respiration, muscle spasms, and in most extreme cases, hallucinations. A timeline reassessment for the refinery operation is recommended as the material proves more unstable than initial analysis indicated. Research Outpost Glacier 1 in the Fendrana Drifts region of Talon 4's mountains is operating at 85% capacity. Sub-zero temperatures have made the Metroid sluggish and easy to control, even those well into phase-on infusion cycles. Cold containment stasis tanks are sufficient for the juveniles, but some of the larger Metroids have been moved to quarantine caves for safety purposes. Security doors remain an issue, as malfunctions due to ice occur every day, large predators in the wastes are also a concern as they continue to kill personnel and breach secure areas. Unfortunately, it has become clear that our containment teams cannot neutralize all of them without a vast increase in munitions and soldiers. Y yeah, I think this is going really well for them. There's a log somewhere telling- oh, I saw the thing about the pets. It does sound scary. Most terraforming and retrofitting of security checkpoints on Talon 4 is complete, but we continue to research the alarming epidemic of breaches by local creatures. Breaches by local creatures. <laughs> Door records show no unauthorized entries, so we must presume the creatures are either slipping in undetected during daily personnel moves or else finding their way in through, oh, excuse me, subterranean tunnels. We have found many small breaches of this latter sort and plug them wherever we can, but it is unlikely that we will ever achieve full extermination within our current timetable. That was a lot of reading. Okay, I remember this door. Are we going for it or should we go back and save? I think we're gonna go for it. I think I can do it. Oh. Nope, wrong button. Do I need health? 
I mean, maybe, but I'm actually pretty good on resources right now. Having issues with ants in the pantry, yeah. That's all. Nothing more than that. This is Metroid, so the ants are deer sized and full of teeth. What, most ants you know aren't like that? That makes me think of the area for Honey, I Shrunk the Kids at Disney World, and they had, like, giant ants that you could climb on and take pictures with. Most ants I know are like that. The ants and familiar with bring me presents for my B-Day. Alright, different kind of ants. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah! Ambush! Well, I am breaking and entering. Where'd you go? Are you hanging from the ceiling over there? What is that one doing? I like that we had the same idea but went two different directions. <laughs> okay, give me my goodies. No, I didn't get anything else dropped. Okay. Lower node of astronomical holographic projector currently deactivated. Device is currently not active. I need to turn that thing on. Duck basket. Oh, the horse-sized duck and the duck-sized horse question. Duck basket. It's a duck. It's a duckling-sized basket. Holographic spatial schematic is in lockdown per security directive 2.23.445. Oh. Pirate data. Holographic sequence initialized. Oh. Holographic map coordinate data has been updated successfully. Pirate data. Okay, let's read. And let's blow these up. I would rather befriend the horse-sized duck so I can ride on it. Yeah, that would be fun. Okay, I am going to take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to read and do all the hologram stuff. That's the plan. This will be a shorter one. I'm just going to refill my water and then we can chat for a minute. I said we were going to read pirate data and then do the hologram stuff. That's a T-Rex. Yeah, okay. When Google is down. Okay. Have a good rest, little tiger. Yeah, he went right back to sleep. <laughs> Contact. Artifact site. Did we read this one, too? Yeah. No. What? 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 <laughs> Where are these going? Are they under research? And not all under pirate data? Scans of spiral sector detected a massive energy spike emanating from a wanderer class planet identified as Talon 4. Scout reconnaissance was immediately dispatched to the center of the spike, a landmass at heading mark 40.08.02, returning with planetary samples and atmospheric imaging. Analysis shows the energy source to be an unstable radioactive material of enormous potential. We are unable to form an accurate risk assessment at this time, 
but we are unlikely to find an energy source this powerful again. Analysis will continue, but currently Talon 4 appears to be a viable secondary headquarters. Interesting. Duck Game is apparently 80% sale on summer sale. Grab it now if anyone wants. It's like two bucks. Aw, yeah. I, I thought we just picked up like three more of these. Where are they? <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm over it. Is this something on the wall here? Upper note of astronomical holographic projector is retracted and inactive. Turn on the observatory. I wanna look at all the planets. Part one, part two. <laughs> Time for spinners. Fun. really locked into place here. Amazing! And now there's an item up there. Lower node of astronomical holographic projector function normally. Recording to the These are under research. That's so cool. Look at the title, like the words going with it. Does anybody know how to read Chozo? Or. Yeah, I guess. Or Space Pirate? Who made this? Who's, whose observatory is this? It's in the middle of the Space Pirate lab. So I guess it's theirs. Planet Ormine 2, 2.3 trillion teratons of mass. Twin tabula, mass 4.1 trillion teratons. Research. Oh, Talon 4, 5.1 trillion teratons. Cool. Zebes. 4.8 trillion teratons. Planet Billium. 3.8 trillion teratons. Teratons? Yeah. What about their sun? Did I get everything? I like this part. I think this part's really cool. It looks way better in this version, too. It's an elegant system. I'm 
Now what? How do I get up there? Interesting to me that Talon 4 is the same system as Zeebs, but Talon 1 through 3 are nowhere to be seen. Yeah. Where are they? Trillion teratons, so 10 to the 12th times 10 to the 12th tons. Let's see how it holds up against the mass of the Earth. What happens if you walk in there? Do I have to go on those to get up to the next section? It doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna try not to get squished. Super missile. Got it. Now can we break cordite? We're about to find out. Hi Adam, welcome in. How's it going? Just checking in before bed. How's everything? It's good. We watched the Annapurna showcase and we made progress in Metroid Prime. We're still going. It's been a good day. Earth apparently has 6 times 10 to the 24th kilograms mass, which is appro approximately 60 times 10 to the 21st tons, which means Talon 4 is a factor of a thousand more massive. What? Samus must be really strong or I made a mistake or Retro Studios did. You know, I can't say that I've really sat down with this information before and thought about it, but I'm glad you're you're doing the heavy lifting. Actually, let's... It says this has stuff about the planets. Yeah. Planet's crust is primarily earth earthic ore, making it ideal for subterranean construction. This is for Zebes. A class... A uh, 19 planet. Zebes is inhospitable to most bioforms. The world was considered unremarkable until it became a base for space pirate forces. Talon 4. Ecosystem studies indicate that Talon 4 was a biological paradise prior to the impact of an extraterrestrial object. What remains of the biosphere is slowly fading due to exposure of phazon ra to ra phazon radiation. At current rate of decay, Talon 4 will be a barren class 13 wasteland in approximately 25 years. How was Annapurna? It was good. Um, I'm excited about Flock, which isn't even new. And Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, which also isn't new. Um, and Cocoon, which also isn't. Like, it's they're, they're things that have been announced before. Flock I had never heard of. I had heard of the other two. Um, but there were some really cute developer showcases. And the T-Pose game looks cute. <laughs> Apparently Samus is the one doing the heavy lifting. Well, true. I didn't catch the showcase. Should I go back and have a look? It was fun. It was a really good watch. It was very entertaining. Um... And a lot of it was, like, platform updates, so Stray was on there coming to, was it Xbox? A couple games that we already know and love that are going to new platforms. Oh yeah, something, there was a game going to Netflix. Um, does this go under secondary items? Where's the super missile? Am I missing something? I don't know where it is in here. Okay. 
The Xbox reveal was great because the stray kitty just knocked an Xbox controller off the table. Yeah. What the flock is flock. Uh, <laughs> I apologize for that. It's this really cute, like... I don't even know how to describe it. Um, creature collecting. You enter a world and there's little creatures that you can, little birds that you get to join your flock and you all fly around together and you can play with friends. And just kind of explore the world and hang out. A safe word, if anybody knows like where I can read more about the super missiles and how to use them, or does it automatically upgrade the missiles I already have? I would really appreciate it. Whoa, look at this. Charge combo? Okay. Why does that not take me back to the other... Oh, beam combo? Maybe? Charge combo will fire as long as missile supply lasts. Hold ZRA down after firing. It takes 10 missiles to tr trigger charge combos, then 5 per second afterwards. Your missiles are still the same. It's power beam charge combo okay flock sounds like abzu multiplayer from your brief description it's me yeah i could see like kind of abzu vibes sounds cool i'll check it out i have lorelei on my two playlist already but i can't remember what it is puzzles kind of creepy but puzzles Oh, here we go. Super missiles is a power charge combo. Super missiles is a single shot charge combo. Each shot costs five missiles. Okay, now I gotta try it. How do I activate it? ZR plus A? Basically try to shoot a missile while your charge beam is ready. Oh, not plus A then, plus R. And it costs five. Okay, cool. Am I gonna get to save soon? Dang. What do people usually remap their, um, the beam changer too because I really want to remap that I'm not liking it oh <gasps> elevator control tower research core okay thanks does that mean it doesn't want me to go this way yet but I want to save my game I remap it to scan things, so scanning is X plus direction, while beam is just direction. Oh, interesting. I kind of want it on, like, ZL, but I feel like that's gonna be grapple later. Or no, that's- that's target. Is LB anything yet? It's just jump. Hi Trav, welcome in. How's it going? Happy Thursday. 
Good thing I came back here. Oh my goodness. We made so much progress. Lore. Chief Astrogation Officer feels our current dual hollow projector system is obsolete. Please review and advise. All hollow technicians report to main observatory. Maintenance required on both hollow modules. <laughs> What's this? Looks like something I can shoot with a with a a heat beam, but not yet. All right, bye. Onward. Wait, does the save station not recharge missiles? Just health? I guess so. We got the wave beam now. We got wave beam, super missiles. Um, and I think that's it for items today. Burgers ready with a side of fried potato wedges. Oh, enjoy llama. That sounds so good. Feta cheese, green olives. Mwah. Save just as health gunship does both. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, control tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Are we going to see Ridley again? Nope, just space pirates. Ugh, where'd you go? They're all taking cover. Oh, look at him do that little roll. He learned some cool moves. Jetpack demons, no! My least, second least favorite. Oh my god, I forgot that they do that. Oh, I don't have that charge combo yet for this beam, okay. My god. Is there another one? Did we get him? Oh. What is that? Ugh. Okay, I did it. I got him. Um... Oh. Scary. What was that yellow thing that appeared out of nowhere? I feel like it was the edge of the map malfunctioning. It was really weird. Dual stick controls make them a lot easier. Oh my gosh, I feel like they're way easier now. Metroid said trans rights. Oh, the purple beam, isn't it pretty? Look at those colors. Yeah, wait, what is that? Huh. It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm fine with forest fields. I'll allow it.
Let me out. Fancy looking box. <laughs> well, what's this? I can't melt it yet. I remember. I feel like there's an item over here that it took me forever to find. Oh well. Now we go through this door. Hello? I've never really seen gameplay of 3D Metroid games. Do they follow the same principle of having progression locked behind movement upgrades like in the 2D? Um, yeah. They feel, you know, I've only played this one, but it fits right in with the others. It's just 3D and some of the platforming is harder. Well, harder for me because of the, I don't know, there's just something about it. It's just a different type of platforming. Yeah, I feel like they translate it really well. Am I supposed to activate this? Tower somehow? Why would I come out here? What's over here? Suspicious. Oh, was I supposed to jump on top of these? Oh, force field. Bzz. Hard to move fast in first person. Metroid Prime, you're gonna get- you're gonna fit right in. <laughs> Prime 1 is a pretty direct adaptation of 2D. Biggest difference is the movement speed. You know you create where you can find a cool playthrough of the game? Thanks, Llama. Yeah, my original playthrough's on there, too. How many other 3D Metroidvanias are out there? Pretty much all the Metroidvanias I know of are 2D. I feel that Prime Trilogy is one of the best 2D to 3D translations in the history of video games. Looks at other MN shutters. Just for you, Jen, in case you want to see yourself struggle to find that item. I will, I'll probably go back and watch some of this game once we're done. It was, it was just such a memorable playthrough. There were some 3D Castlevanias, but I've not heard good things about them for the most part. Not sure if they followed the format. Yeah, I don't know. What am I missing here? And it gave me a thing on the map to go towards over here. How do I turn on this elevator? They were okay, the only one that was horrible was N64. I'd consider the first Dark Souls to be a pretty good take on Metroidvania style progression in 3D, though it's less upgrades and more like finding actual keys, yeah. But um, a lot of people like the 
Dark Souls randomizer. Oh, it's right here. For the same reason that they like maybe the Hollow Knight randomizer or or um even Link to the Past. I know it's not a it's not a Metroidvania, but you have that aspect of like finding a skill to open a place. And um that's what makes the randomizer fun. I like Castlevania 64. I've never seen any of it. I can't believe I didn't figure out this stupid elevator. Oh well. Soulsborne games in share a fair bit in common for sure. I was searching for an item and all I got was an elevator. That's alright, we had some good chats. <gasps> the baby! I see it! Surely it won't escape! Let's try some uh, DS1 randomizer at some point? Maybe. The main difference was that Zelda had specific dungeons, not world sectors. Yeah, and my favorite part of, like, Link to the Past when I do the rando is the overworld stuff, and, um, Link's Awakening, I always love remembering all the different overworld things, because that feels like Metroidvania, but then, oh yeah, we pop into this dungeon for a bit. Biggest thing Castlevania 64 gets flack for is the camera, which granted isn't great, but it's possible to learn how to work with it, and then it's pretty good. Yeah, isn't the reflection in the visor so cool? We keep talking about it just because of how good it looks. Only thing I was not thrilled about N64 Castlevania was the controls. Stasis tank B118 contaminated beyond acceptable safety standards. Removal squad requested. Removal squad? Phase on infusion stage 6, subject Metroid BR5497. I hear space pirates somewhere too. Recording to Pirate data. Metroid containment fields appear 100% effective after adjustments. The hooked mandibles of the Metroid penetrate the skin of its prey and siphon pure life force energy. Internal organs of Metroid seem to be limited to nucleonic absorption cells and massive energy reservoirs. Ah. Hello? Can you see the one I have sitting behind me? There it is! Hello. A new creature's entry. You've scanned 50% of the logbook. Talon Metroid energy-based parasitic predator. What? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to happen yet. I don't have ice beam yet. Oh, got it. <laughs> breach! Security breach! Security breach! Oh, okay, you're dead. I wasn't done scanning yet. It's fine. I'm just reading casually. Hang on. <laughs> Containment temperature stable at 3 degrees centigrade. Environmental diagnostics satisfactory. A new data entry. Okay, we gotta read these.
Isn't this when we get x-ray? I'm nervous. Oh, coming in hot. Okay, I love the visor thing, but in the middle of a fight, it kind of like blocks my view. I think we got everybody. Phew! Hi, Echoes. Welcome in. How's it going? Talon Metroids aren't as dangerous as SR388. Apparently not. I don't need Ice Beam, because they're already contained in this cold area. Motion near Hunter Metroid DG appears to trigger psychotic episodes. Hunter Metroid DS is showing signs of increased instability and heightened immunity to cold damping fields. Metroids infused with phase on strain vertigo are thriving. So many weird noises in this area. I think this one's gonna bust out. Empty stasis tank. I don't trust you! Stasis tank CO12 is contaminated beyond acceptable safety standards. Remove immediately. You're deep in the game. Yeah, we're 50% of the way through the log book, I think it just told us. Can I use my cool new uh, upgrade to get this? Yay! Phew. Okay, we got our health. I feel like if that thing doesn't bust out of there, I can break these and get it out of there. I don't know why I would want to do that. There's still more stuff up here I need to do. Uh, hello? That looks like something with the spider ball. Sorry, not talkative game. Very intense game. No worries. It is kind of intense. If you bust a Metroid out of its tank and pirates are around, they will fight each other. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, I wanted to read some of these research entries. As energy-based creatures, Metroids show immediate mass increases upon energy absorption. All guards must use ice containment gear when transporting Metroids. Directive, in the event of a Metroid attack, repel creature with missiles set to maximum concussion. Okay then. Did I get all the ones over there? I think so. Meta Ridley! The reconstruction of Geoform 187, codename Ridley, was recently completed. After his defeat on Zeebs, Command ordered a number of metagenic improvements for him. Though aggressive, we were able to implement these changes in a cycle. The metamorphosis was painful, but quite successful in the end. Early tests indicate a drastic increase in strength, mobility, and offensive capability. Cybernetic modules and armor plating have been added as well. We believe our creation, now called Meta Ridley, will become the mainstay of our security force, a job he will certainly relish. Confidence is high regarding Phazon applications. We know enough about Phazon now to begin combining it with space pirate DNA. The code name for this venture will be Project Helix. 
preliminary studies indicate that phazon infusion could produce radical new pirate genomes. Benevolent mutation levels are high in current test subjects. Phazon madness is a concern, but refinements in the infusion process should reduce or neutralize the odds of mental degeneration. Risky. I love the pirate's oh crap reaction to loose space jellyfish. I need to see this at some point. Gonna leave a lurk and do a sleep. Take care, everyone. Best of luck dealing with pesky Metroids. Have a good sleep, Adam. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your rest. Inserting meta into a name is such a gem of this age of games and other media. And I think there's a Mecha Ridley as well. Okay, Samus. No pressure, but... Uh... Oh god. There's no way I'm going to be able to get that one. I feel like the morph is so much more sensitive in this game. Or I just am not used to it or don't have the muscle memory for it. I don't know what it is. Ooh. Slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> never say never! <laughs> I don't know if there's a wall on the other side of this that will keep me up or not. I'm just gonna pretend- I'm just gonna assume there's not. So tedious. I can't do this any faster. Oh my god. Missiles. Mecha Ridley is the final boss of Zero Mission. Yes, I remember. Need the Nega Ridley that is like 20... Oh, 2005's answer? I've never heard of that one. Also love how pirates see the dangerous, all-consuming stuff and just think, hey, this tinkers with genres, let's shove it into living creatures. <laughs> Uh, genes, not genres, sorry. Yeah, why not? Just throw it into some creatures. Alright. Now where to? This tank holds the remains of Experiment 7526, conversion of elite pirate unsuccessful. Yeah, this is the way out. Oops. I don't remember what controls I used for that before, but it is hard for me to get the hang of. Oh, I can't scan you from up here. Come back! Ice beetle. Okay, thank you. Fascinating. There's so many of you. I'm sure they enjoy tinkering with genres too, less morally ambiguous. Ugh. It's scary in there. What is coming out of that control? What are you doing? Haha. <laughs> Where's the rest of you? I hear jetpack demons.
Oh, that wasn't so bad. It was a pretty impressive high jump the pirate did. It kind of went catapulting into the air. I like the beam switching in the GameCube release used C stick instead of GameCube game used the very odd single stick for movement and camera control. The tank controls. Testing of thermal imaging software complete. Oh, the lights are about to go out. Central tank control circuit connection terminated. so many of them in there. Oh, I hate this part. I'm dreading it. It's gonna be fine. What is this? This unit supplies power to the containment force field at the bottom of the room. There's some cameras down there that I need to take care of. Can I get it from here? Yup. Is there another one? I went to Olympic Games instead of evil organization. The space pirates? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they would have been better off. At least that one. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, I can't shoot over the railing. Even though it looks like there's a gap. Am I just supposed to jump over this? Is there no staircase down? No, it's over here. It's fine, everything's fine. Okay, this is also supplying power to the force field below, I guess. Thermal imaging software exceeding initial expectations. It said that before. Central tank auxiliary circuit connection terminated. One more. Is this a thing over here? It looks like ice. I'm taking the stairs, I'm not jumping. Force field network active around object. Is that a 100% logbook to get all three sets of the force field? Oh my gosh. Thermal visor interfaces will be sent to quarantine area. Inform command thermal vision tests will begin soon. Locked door. Okay, here we go. Central tank main circuit connection terminated. Thermal visor. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it behind. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's not 
I'm fine. These are stronger than the last ones. It feels like they took more hits. I don't know. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I think it was okay. Snake, thanks for the joy. I just remember when I played this for the first time, this was so much sensory overload. Like, what am I even looking at? Why do I have to look at it through this type of vision? It was a lot. But it went better than last time. Why are you lit up if I can't open you? Does the map tell me what type of door this is? Question mark door. Okay. Thanks for the hello. These are stronger than the last ones. Apparently they're fueled by darkness. <laughs> okay, and now the Metroid's gonna break out of its tank and hurt me. Yay for hard light scaffolds being hooked up to backup generator. Yeah, the, um... The stuff that I can see with this thermal thing is interesting. What if I don't walk by that tank? Oh, I think I have to. Oh. It gave me some room to, um... to hang out. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Looks at Echo Visor and Prime 2, you ain't seen disorienting. See, and that's why I never played Prime 2. Thermal Visor is not my favorite of the visors. It's cool, but too harsh on my eyes. I've never played Prime 2 because I had a really hard time with Prime 1 and everyone was like, everything that's in Prime 1 is amplified in Prime 2. So I said, I'm gonna wait. Thank you. Also, it was only the second ever Metroid game I'd ever played. So I probably never remembered to use charge beam or missiles. And I don't know. It was hard. Prime 2 is frankly a lot. Yeah. I do consider it to be better. I know, and everyone was like, it's my favorite game. It's my favorite Prime. It's so good. I, I, and I said I would play it one day. I think on, I think on dual sticks, way less intimidating, but the fact that it was like the controls that I had a hard time getting used to, I couldn't imagine. Um, I couldn't imagine. This door has no power. Anything else in here? All right. Would love to see it look this nice. Yeah, I hope it gets the remaster treatment. Yeah, or just an HD release on the Switch would be great. Obviously this is beautiful, but a remaster would be cool. Love the activation sound for these. Prime 2 is better in a number of ways, but I find the color palette of, like, an entire half the game very drab and uninteresting. Aww. What in the what? What are you? Sentry drone. Great. Love that. Can I just stay in this pause screen forever? And my, like, visor is all messed up, too? Oh, I guess I didn't have to fight you in the dark, huh? Llama, take care. Have a good sleep. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the company from you as well. We'll see you around. Wow. 
Okay, yeah, this is when they start having all the space pirates, like, hiding in the scaffolding and stuff. Are these Metroids gonna bust out? I don't know. Where, where are you going? I know you're gonna come back and, and... Oh god. Okay, well I lost my chance. done. How do I turn the power back on? Wow, it is so dark. And where's my door? Chozotech so advanced in so many ways, still brought low by a mere EMP, yeah. If other Emma's have believed is to be believed, all you need to beat Samus is shoot her in the back with a pistol once. Ugh. I I I never I didn't finish other M. We played it. I tried it. What is that having me lock onto? Um, and it was also an issue of janky controls for that one, because I was trying to emulate it. So, a little tough. Is the power still out? Wow. We'll finish it other M just as soon as Nintendo releases the remaster for Switch, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do feel like I'd be able to give it more of an honest try that way. But I'm not itching to revisit. The point the Wiimote at the screen to use missiles. Yeah, it was the going back and forth between the two cameras just... Was not it. It did not work out. Do I have to fight you? Can't I just leave? Oh, this is where I came in, isn't it? No, this is where I want to go. I don't have to fight you. Oh, wrong way. If Remaster picked some of the story character things, then I would be down for more other M gameplay is actually pretty good. Like, I really like the look of it. Dang, this is really confusing. But yeah, the story and uh, the controls. Am I doing this right? Oops. I guess I have to go through the observatory in the dark. Actually, hang on. We're gonna take a quick break because this ad is about to play.
I keep pressing A. To get out of that map screen. It's not how you do it. Wait, I already... Yeah, this is right. This is right. This hallway just looked the same as that other hallway. This is the observatory. Where is everybody? Where are you hiding? Oh, what are you doing down there? Get to some place where I can target you. I mean, can I just leave this too? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> they played the scary music and everything, but I could just go save. Is the save room in the dark? No, the save room is fine. This room isn't even in the dark. Uh, yeah it is. Scary. Okay, rip. They go so high in the air! Consider this planetary hol hologram in the dark. <laughs> hmm, how is this working? That's fine. Um... Now we go out this way. I was thinking on break how I got a lot further on day three the last time I played this. Oh, not you. But actually, um... Okay, hang on. I hate those things. But actually, we didn't start until like 30, 40 minutes in today because um, of the direct, of the Annapurna direct. And I've been doing shorter streams this time around, I feel like, which is fine. And it's still everything in the dark? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, but this I can break into now. Oh, let me get you first. No, ah. Uh, you can't have um thermal visor in the dark either. Hi, Songbird. How's it going? Welcome in. Happy Thursday. Oh, but it didn't refill my missiles. I see you lurking over there. Oh, okay. Why is it- why can't I lock- lock on to you? Did 
Did I not use this beam the first time I played this? Because this gets them in two hits and it's so handy. Oh, I'm not locked on anymore. Whatever. What am I... Ugh. You, go fight the Metroid! Don't fight me, fight the Metroid. It's bubbling! Okay, well... That was enlightening. Let's leave. Wait, is this how I get out of here? Yeah, it has to be. Hi, Becca. How's it going? We're making our way through the research lab and everything is in the dark. Very scary, but we're almost through it. Can't wait to play the demo. It's cute. Oh, that's awesome. It looks so cute. Metroid is a cool dude. He shoots aliens and isn't afraid of anything. She! Wait, Metroid. <laughs> What are we always saying when I start a new Metroid game? Why can't Metroid crawl? Oh, okay. Where's the turret? Ugh, too many of you. And that turret is gonna take me out. Wait, where did I fall to? Sometimes they just stand there. Missile's low! I never run out of missiles because I never use them. Okay, let's go back up and get that turret. Uh, unfortunately, I have to read and run because of mom things, but I hope you have a wonderful stream. Thank you, Becca. Appreciate it. Enjoy. You know the saying, gotta run before you can crawl. <laughs> Enjoy the lurk. I don't need to go back up there if, if everybody else is taken care of. I don't want to be, deal with that turret. I didn't even have to do this room in the dark. It's all hazy in here now. Yay, the outside! We made it! Daylight! Missile refill. And a save station. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get to Thardis today. I really wanted to, but a little bit slower start, I guess. We switch from dark mode to light mode, yeah. I was gonna go a little longer, but this this feels right. This is a good s spot to stop. Today we got wave beam, super missiles, thermal visor, no shortage of upgrades. I'm happy with that. 
Stay tuned for the next episode. In the meantime, you can catch one of my classic Metroid playthroughs right here. Thank you to my monthly Kofi supporters, Oracle the Great, 8-Bit Trap, Toon Wolf, Semi Cortex, Metal Spring Pro, Megadan, Wymizer, and Stowe. I appreciate you so much. Later, humans.